What excites me most about the potential of VR is how to affect the way we play games moving forward. Already it's making scary games scarier, action games more intense, and making our new friends in multiplayer games more real. But it's easy to forget that VR is a new medium, capable of bringing us more than just games, as interactive stories like Manifest 99 and virtual short films like Alamet have shown us. And while PSVR's newest story, Luna, doesn't take a radically different approach to VR storytelling, it's a children's book-like aesthetic that'll make it one of the more memorable ones. Awoken from a deep sleep, Bear was in no mood to be disturbed. Bird stood fast and called out in friendship and kindness. Luna tells the story of aptly named Bird seeking to bring life back to the world, and in the process, find the lost pieces of the missing moon. It's a story fitting for a children's book, and while it has a certain level of charm, I have to admit that I lost interest in the narrative after the first or second stage. That being said, I'm absolutely in love with the way the story was told. The narrator has a nice cadence and sincerity to his voice that, when paired with the moving soundtrack and overarching musical theme of the game, resulted in one of the more peaceful hours I've spent in VR. And if it's not totally obvious by the gameplay footage seen here, the characters and environments are heavily inspired by the children's book illustrators of my youth, particularly Eric Carl or Maury Sendak. In other words, the art design is stunning. Except, like the new world, Bird also felt fuller. While Luna is totally playable with a DualShock 4, it feels a little clumsy moving a cursor around the 3D environment with an analog stick. So if you're embarking on this brief little adventure, grab your move controllers. Most of Luna's six stages are divided into three sections. Rearranging constellation stars in simple puzzles, bringing life back to the land by planting vegetation, and then finally the game takes over and delivers the next bit of story. Then it's wash, rinse, and repeat a few more times until the credits roll. Once you've seen the whole thing through, there's not much incentive to play it again, although in all fairness, the first time through is pretty magical. Luna's $15 price tag is a bit steep for the 60-minute story that developer Phenomena delivers. It's a beautiful little VR experiment, which almost nearly succeeds. You'll love it if you have kids, or you're just nostalgic for simpler times, but with all the amazing options on PSVR right now, you'll probably love it even more if you wait for a sale. Dragonflies hung above the surface. Bird's hopes began to rise. Thank mm -hmm. you. 